I did a JavaScript challenge a few tutorials back and it seemed to be a big hit. So I want to do another one. In this particular challenge, we will look at what it takes to reverse a string. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript. As always, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember to check out the discount links to all my courses in the description section. I really appreciate the support. And if you'd like, there are other ways to support the channel, which are linked to in the description as well. If you provide support through Patreon, you can get access to all the code files to all of my tutorials. And there are over 200 now, and you can see a list of all the tutorials on my website. Finally, there is a link in the description if you're earning script. Now, reversing an array is, is pretty simple. You use the reverse method, and that's all that's required. But what about reversing a string? That is the challenge for this tutorial. There is what I feel a pretty simple way to accomplish this, which I'll show at the end of the, of the tutorial. There are also some more complex approaches. Now, here's a string I want to use for this little exercise. It's the alphabet, uh, because that's pretty simple to tell if I've been able to reverse the order or not. So what I would like done in this challenge is create a function that you can pass this string into and have it return a string that is in reverse order. Now, if you'd like to try this challenge, go ahead and pause the tutorial at this point and give it a try and post your solution in the comments. Then restart the tutorial. I'm gonna go over one method that I like. It seems to me to be a pretty simple method. And so that's the one that I want to present here. All right, go ahead and pause the tutorial. All right, I hope you came up with a solution. And if you came up with a solution, even if it's not the one I present here, that's great. Sometimes that's the best way to learn JavaScript is you just gotta solve things. And then once you solve it, you look at ways other people have done it and you can learn from that. So first thing I'm gonna do is set up a function. I'll just call it reverse string is what I'll call it. And it's going to accept a string. And then what I will do is I will have it return a string, but it will be in reverse order. Now I'm going to do this entire function with just one line of code. We're able to do that because of chaining. And you'll see as I progress through that this how I've done that. So the first thing, I want to make sure that I return the results. So here's the return keyword. Now, one thing you can do with a string is you can immediately convert it to an array. There are a couple ways to do that. I prefer the spread operator in doing that because it's pretty simple. And here's how you do it with a spread operator. There's a spread operator, and here's the string that's passed in. We sp spread that out, and that converts it to an array because we have the square brackets around it. Another way would be to use the split method of strings. That would convert it to an array as well. Now, since we have an array here, we can then chain another method onto it. And as I mentioned in the introduction, an easy way to reverse arrays is with the reverse method. Now that we have an array of this string, it's simple to use the reverse method on that array. And we have just chained that together. But now we need to make it a string again. So the method that is available for arrays to turn it into a string is the join method. So once again, I can chain that on and join. Now inside of the parentheses of join, you indicate what character you want to use to combine those elements together into a string. So if you have multiple elements in an array, what is going to go between those elements as you combine them in a string? That's what you're specifying here with join. Now I'm going to specify a blank string. There's nothing in that because I want it to be just a reverse of this. I don't want anything between the elements. I simply want it to be a reverse. All right, so that is my function. Now down here, I'll just do a log to the console and we'll test this out. So reverse string, I'm going to call that method and I'm going to pass in alphabet and we'll just have the results of that logged to the console. So let me go ahead and save that and then we'll refresh and take a look at 
the console here. And here we have our alphabet in reverse order. So I think that's a, a simple method for accomplishing that. Like I said, there are probably some more complex approaches using loops and that type of thing. But I like the simplicity of this and how we're able to make a pretty simple function to make that happen. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links that I've put to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. I try to release a new tutorial each week. And once again, thanks for watching.